Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. Today's class is a full body vinyasa flow with twists. That's right, we're gonna twist it out. You may or may not want a block for today. Otherwise, all you need is your body and your mat. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and join me every Saturday for a new flow. Let's get this one started. All right, Omis, we're gonna find our way into our child's pose. Go ahead and move your block out of the way. So we're gonna start with our big toes to touch at the back of the mat. Extend the arms forward as you lower the forehead down to the mat. And once you come down, go ahead and take a scan of the body. Notice how it's feeling today. And begin to connect in with your breath. So let's take a big audible exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose. Big breath, let it go. Again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, let's seal the lips in through the nose. And gently out through the nose as well. We're going to work into this side body here. We're going to inhale, lift the forehead up. We're going to walk the hands over to the right. Then we're going to exhale, lower the forehead back down to the mat. Really press the hips back towards the heels and work the left shoulder towards the floor. Pull the belly in here, breathing space into the left side body. And we're going to inhale, come up. We're going to exhale our way over to the left. Same thing, drop the forehead down to the floor. And work the right arm now, shoulder towards the floor. Continue to press the hips back. And we're going to inhale, come up, back to center, forehead back down for a moment. Really press the hips back to the heels here. And let's inhale, come up into our tabletop pose. We're gonna work into the shoulders and deeper into the side body and getting into a little bit of a twist. So we're gonna inhale, take the right arm up, and then we're gonna exhale, take two big circles with it going in one direction, then pause, switch it, go the other direction. Pause back at the top, and then we're gonna to exhale to thread the needle. Right shoulder and right ear down. Take the left fingertips towards the top of the mat if you can. If you wanna go deeper, you can lift the left arm up, you can take it to the low back, or you can work it around for the inner right thigh. But wherever you are, think about expansion through the crown of the head. Gently open the left shoulder up. And then release, left hand down, press back into your table. And let's switch sides, left arm sweeps up, and then we're gonna take our circles two in one direction. Okay, and then pause two in the other direction. Pause back at the top, and we're gonna thread the needle on this side. Left ear now down as the right fingertips come forward. Right hand up to the low back or for the inner right thigh, left thigh rather. Okay. But wherever you are, again, lengthen through the crown of the head, reach through the tailbone and open. Gently bring the right arm up, right hand down, press back into your table. Let's just take a quick cow, so drop the belly, lift the gaze. And a quick cat, tuck the chin. Continue to press the mat away. We're going to find our way into our downward facing dog. So today's class, working with twists, we're gonna work with the intention to surrender and clear what it is that may be feeling, leaving us feeling blocked or we feel blocked with it, right? Okay, so let's shorten the down dog just a little bit. Walk your hands maybe like two inches towards the feet. You can keep your knees bent here. You can also, Lengthen through the heels as you press them down to the floor. Now we're going to take the left hand to the outside of the right calf. You can stay here or look underneath the right armpit here. Continue to pull the belly in. 
And then we're going to switch left hand down, right hand now to the outer edge of the left leg. Have the gaze be underneath the left armpit if you can. If not, it's okay. Okay, then gently come back. We're going to inhale, look forward, exhale, walk your feet to the top. Okay, finding our ragdoll. Nice deep bend into the knees here if you can. And allow the head to yearn towards the floor. You can grab onto opposite elbows here. You can also take your elbows to the tops of your knees here if you need a little bit of a rest for the head. We're really just working on the legs here. Nice, gentle opening of the backside of the body here. And then wherever you are, release your hands down to the ground. Toe heel your feet together, big toes to touch. We're going to inhale into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now we're going to inhale, slowly rise to stand. And as you come up, allow the shoulders to come up. And then exhale, take them back and down the spine. Now we're going to inhale, let the arms sweep up. And exhale, take our hands to our heart center, Samastitihi. Bring your gaze down to your fingertips or close the eyes. I want us to think about what it is that we may feel we are being blocked by, right? That is an external force. We feel as though we are being blocked by blank. And then we're going to take and make this an internal statement, right? I move with ease regardless of what's in front of me. Okay, so this takes it from kind of blaming, <laughs> right? Oh, something's blocking me to our power. I move with ease regardless of what's in front of me. All right, let's go ahead and connect in with this with breath. Take a big audible exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose, deep into the belly. Big breath, sigh this one out. Slowly begin to open the eyes, release your hands down by your sides. We flow. We're going to inhale, arms sweep up. We're going to exhale, half moon to the right. I'm going to have us keep the arms lifted on both on this. You always, you always have the option to take um, your right hand down or whatever hand is going to be on the side that you're leaning towards. Okay, we're going to inhale, come through center. We're going to exhale to switch, lengthen through, really engage the core here. Okay, inhale, come back. We're going to exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your first chaturanga or your cat and cow or whatever version you have and meet in down dog. Okay, We're going to inhale, look back to the top. Exhale, step or hop your way there. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, we rise, flat back, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, half moon to the right. Really engage the pelvic floor here. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Check in with the breath. How's it moving? How's it feeling? How's it flowing? Even when we twist, we really are going to focus on breath. All right, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Half moon to the right. Half moon to the left. Back to center, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Okay, we're going to inhale, look to the top. Exhale, again, step or hop back forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. 
Utkatasana, chair pose, arm sweep up. We're gonna exhale, open twist to the right. Left arm forward, right arm back. Work the knees towards the front of the mat here rather than letting the body open. Knees center, inhale back to center. Exhale, open twist to the left. Again, knees center, inhale center. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, find your lunge. Take a little bit of a wider stance today. Okay, so step the right foot out just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna lift the belly off the thigh or at least imagine as though we are, right? It's the idea of it. I'm not lifted off anymore. <laughs> we're gonna inhale, left arm forward, right arm back. And then we're gonna switch. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Now we're gonna come into our crescent, revolved crescent lunge. So your left elbow, you're gonna work towards the right knee, outside of the right knee. Take your hands together if you can, press your palms together, lengthen through the crown of the head and find your twist. If you need to, you can drop to your back, uh, your back knee here. My words will come out <laughs> eventually. Okay, stay with the breath, inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale to pause. Now we're gonna inhale, come back up, crescent pose. Exhale, release it down, say hello to your right quad. <laughs> come to your chaturanga, we'll meet in down dog. Okay, so twisting, we can feel blocked. Yes, we can, <laughs> because actually we are blocking ourselves, right? We are cutting off circulation and blood flow so that when we open, it rushes and moves everything through. Left leg, take it up. Exhale, lunge. Again, imagine that the stomach is lifting off the thigh, so we're engaged in the core here. We're gonna take the right arm forward, left arm back. Switch, 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 switch. Switch, right arm is forward. Now we're gonna exhale, come into our revolved crescent lunge. A little bit of a wider stance here. Breathe space. I know, you're like, how am I gonna breathe space? I'm squished. You're gonna imagine it. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Okay. So even though we feel blocked, we move with ease. We're gonna inhale, come up, crescent lunge. Exhale, release it down. Vinyasa will meet in down dog. Okay, I'm filming this with a huge sty in my eye. <laughs> I feel like I can't see the world around me. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let it stop me. Cause I move with ease. Even if I stumble, it's all good. <laughs> all right, homies. Let's move with our blocks and all. Look forward. Exhale, step, hop to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Chair pose, Utkatasana, arms up. Exhale, open twist to the right. Center, left. Center, fold. Half lift, Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Right leg, take it up. Lunge, left arm forward, right arm back. Switch, 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 left arm forward. Exhale, revolved, crescent lunge. Stay with the breath. Squeeze the inner thighs here. Now we're gonna inhale to come up. Exhale, release it down. Meet in down dog. Okay, once there, we're gonna take the left leg up. Exhale, lunge. Right arm forward, left arm back. Switch, 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 switch. Switch, right arm is forward, exhale, revolved, crescent lunge. 
Again, remember, you can drop to your back knee if you need to modify. Lengthen through. Find the twist. We move with ease. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, release it down. Vinyasa. One more time through. We're going to inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair pose. Open to the right. Center, left. Center, fold. Half lift. Vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Right leg, take it up. Lunge. Left arm forward, right arm back. Switch, 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 switch. Left arm is forward. Exhale, revolved. Crescent lunge. It's okay if we fall. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give us the option here. You can stay. If you wanna go deeper, work your left hand towards the floor. You wanna go deeper, go for a little bind. So your right arm reaches around as your left arm grabs on or not. I'm not there. Okay, let's inhale, come up and exhale. Whew. Release that. Find your way to down dog. Left leg, take it up. Lunge. Right arm forward, left arm back. Switch, 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 switch. Right is forward. Exhale. Find your twist. To go deeper, right hand extends down. Maybe we go for a bind. Maybe we don't. It's going to be an awkward bind. That's okay. Wherever you are, come up. Crescent. And release it down, vinyasa. Down dog is our destination. Once there, go ahead and lower down to the knees. I'm laughing because, oh, it's so funny. You know, I plan classes months in advance, a couple weeks in advance at least, and I always laugh because whatever the intention is <laughs> that I've set for that class <laughs> happens to pop up for me either prior to filming or like the day of and during filming, which is exactly today. So, all right, I want us to think, do we allow for these blocks to stop us or were we able to notice how we can move with ease because it's all up to us, right? Are we gonna allow something to stop us or are we going to allow for our own strength to show us just how mother freaking capable we are? The latter is much more fun, <laughs> although challenging, but it's all good. Okay, that's enough of story time. Just wanted to share with you, let me know when you find these classes or when these classes find you, how much do the intentions resonate with you as well? Do you happen to also find that they flow with what's going on in your life? Okay, let's get ready for our core section. Only two things today, you're super welcome. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, you need to have a sty way more often, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you some options. We are gonna come into our plank pose here, but if this is not accessible for us today, we can take this from our bear plank. We're gonna be using um, our windshield wiper method. So it might be a little awkward with the knee down, but don't worry about it, okay? Be where you need to be, that's what matters. All right, find your plank. We're gonna inhale, take the right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, pause, now we're gonna switch, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 
back to plank, switch left leg up, exhale, left knee, left elbow, pause. Now we go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, back to plank, press back child's pose. So when we think about twisting, I probably talk about this every twisting class, um, but sometimes people are like, how exactly does twisting in yoga detox us? Well, because twisting massages the body and the internal organs in a deeper way. And so we're cutting off the easy flow of blood and oxygen so that when we open, it rushes through. And this helps circulatory system, um, but really lymphatic system, okay? Yoga helps that so much. So does working out. You know, we're gonna inhale, come back up to table. If you have a block, this is where you're gonna use it. If you don't, don't worry about it because you can totally do this without, all right? So we're gonna find our way into our boat pose. And then I'm gonna move my mic. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, okay? This has also been a little bit of a block for me today, but I'm gonna roll with it because it's just what we do. All right, so we're gonna find our way into our boat pose. Without your block, you're just gonna be lifted with your block. You're gonna hold on to it. Okay, if you want to, you're gonna lift the legs. Pull the belly in nice and tight here. Okay, option is to stay with the legs lifted as we twist. We're gonna rush and twist. Another option, your feet are gonna come down. Okay, wherever you are, let's go ahead and go together. So twist. If you want to layer up, because the legs lifted aren't enough, you can open as you twist, come back to center, okay? Keep going. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up, put the block to the top. Go ahead and come into your butterfly pose, your feet are together. Go ahead and wrap your hands around your feet and then lengthen through the crown of the head. Scoot your bottom back a little bit here and then begin to fold forward. So the twisting that we did really worked the inner thighs, the quads. Now we're gonna stretch all of that out. Right, so we like to open before we twist and we like to also continue to open after we twist. So let's come up. We're going to find a nice little stretch. So your left hand can be gently, maybe even bring your forearm onto your shin. And we're just going to inhale, take the right arm up. And as we exhale, come over, leaning over to the left. If that doesn't feel good, I like to actually hold on to my feet here. It allows me to go deeper without feeling like I'm going to fall over. And then let's come back and switch. So right hand and arm onto the right leg, lengthen through here. Yeah, we're gonna come back up. Let's go ahead and extend the legs forward. Scoot the goodness out from underneath you. Okay, we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up. We're gonna exhale, come into a little forward fold here. So I wanna share that I want us to always be embracing wherever we find our body. So if, if you've practiced with me for a long time, <laughs> you'll have heard the story of me and hormones and all of that fun stuff and my body shifting. And I want us to just offer gratitude for the fact that we're on our mat today. And as our body changes, so will our practice. And that's okay. okay rather than trying to fight to be where we used to be because we feel blocked by body, okay? I want us to embrace and feel our strength and our power. And the more that we embrace our body and where our body is today, the more ease we're gonna find within our practice. And we're gonna inhale, walk the hands up. Go ahead and find your way onto your backs. 
And we're gonna draw the knees into the chest, give ourselves a squeeze. We're gonna come into our recline figure four. Okay, so both feet are on the floor. You're gonna inhale, lift the right leg up. We're gonna exhale, cross it over, right ankle over the left knee. You have the option to stay here and just gently press the right knee open, keep the right foot flexed. Otherwise you can go deeper, lift the left foot up. Shin is parallel with the floor as you draw the knee a little closer in. So can we change and shift our mindset around what we may feel as a block? Twist, <laughs> twist and shift our perspective and see it for the strength that it offers us. All right, go ahead, let's switch it out. Let's extend the right foot back up, plant it down. Inhale, left leg up, exhale, figure four. Again, you can either stay here, gently press the knee open, left foot is flexed, or to go deeper, go ahead and thread, taking the right shin parallel now. You know, and it's interesting that when we find when we allow for our body to be, we may actually find more strength within this, okay? And I want us to shift away from a scale. I want us to shift away from a number. And I want us to really feel into our strength. Because oftentimes, the scale numbers and our strength don't line up. Go ahead and release. Left leg up, go ahead and plant the left foot down. Now we're gonna come into our reclined cow face. So go ahead and take your legs both up. Okay, so it's like legs up the wall for a moment. Let's cross the right knee over the left and then grab for your right foot with your left hand, left foot with your right hand. You can be very gentle with this, okay? You can get a little bit deeper as you flex the feet, draw the feet towards the floor. Let's switch it out, legs back up, left knee over right, and again, left foot, right hand, right hand, left foot, and breathe into this. Let's go ahead and release, legs up. We're gonna take our final twist. We twisted today, but so if you're done, <laughs> you don't have to take this any further, um, or deeper, I should say. Um, but we are gonna come into our um, supine twist, okay? So a couple of options. You're gonna take your arms out to a T, lift the hips, scoot them over to the right, drop the knees to the left. If you wanna be gentle today, you're gonna stay here. If you wanna go deeper, you're gonna cross your right leg over your left. And then wherever we are, gently bring the gaze over towards the right hand. So we worked our full body today. As always, what yoga class is in the full body? We're gonna gently come back, draw your knees back to center, give yourself a squeeze, and we're gonna switch it out. So if you cross your legs, go ahead and cross your legs here. If you didn't, go ahead and gently drop them over, but the hips are over to the left as we drop the knees to the right. Bring your gaze to your left hand and breathe. And then gently bring yourself back to center. Go ahead and draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Draw your forehead into your knees. Big, deep breath in. Now we're going to exhale into our Shavasana. Let your feet fall out. Palms face up. 
and eyes close. And we're gonna do a quick little visualization before, <clears throat> sorry, before we enter into our Shavasana here. That was a block. That was a block that was wanting to clear. It did clear. I want us to think about what it was that we envisioned as our blockage today. And I want us to notice how much softer this block feels. And what we thought was a blockage was actually something that was showing us our strength. Something that was asking us to shift and twist our perspective to see this blockage for the power that it actually offers us. Let's go ahead and clear with breath. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Big audible exhale out through the mouth. And Shavasana. And slowly begin to bring movement back to the body. Wiggle fingers and toes. Movement in the wrists, the ankles. Let's inhale, extend the arms up overhead. Point the toes, full body stretch. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And find your way over to your favorite side. Once there, pause. Feel the strength that we have created by shifting and twisting our perspective on what we perceived as a blockage was truly strength. When you're ready, press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Once there, go ahead and bring your hands to your heart center. Bring your gaze down to your fingertips or close the eyes. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to your lips, may our words always be kind and true to others. Most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you. And together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, Omis, that was your full body vinyasa flow with twists. Let me know in the comments below. Did you feel the blockages melt away? Did you feel as though this class spoke to where you are in life? All the good things. All right, Omis, I appreciate you practicing with me and I'll see you again next week. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications.